french fries this year with maybe a <laughs> fraction of the calories and maybe like half the fat, but without losing in on all the great flavor. So many people, Stephanie, are talking about air fryers. I think they have to be sort of one of the most popular and newest kitchen innovation tools. This one is one of our premier air fryers with a fabulous digital touch screen. So no more guesswork. It is our favorite Elite Bistro. If you love their collection, jump right in on this one. We do have a price break for you. We have four flexible payments. We have free shipping just for today only, and it's not just for french fries anymore, Stephanie Roberts. It's not, but I Good wish you'd bring you. those over because I love to make french fries in the air fryer. <laughs> Happy New Happy Year. Year. Stephanie, welcome Good back, to see our you. kitchen expert. So air frying is one of my very favorite ways to cook. I use it every single day in my home. And there's a couple of reasons why this Elite Bistro air fryer is so perfect to bring into your home. For starters, it's capacity. I just pulled out a four pound whole chicken from my air fryer. Now, when you read about air fryers or hear people talk about air fryers, one thing people have said is, it does a great job, but it's not big enough for my family of four. It's not big enough for my family of six. Elite Bistro has changed that. This is a 5.6 quart capacity, a huge inner basket there. That is why it was no problem to put in my five pound whole chicken. And the reason I like doing things like whole chickens, or I can do pieces and breasts as well, is because look at that golden brown color. I didn't have to run my oven for mm. hours. I didn't have to submerge that in a big fryer with all the wow. fat. There is not one drop of added fat in here. And even better, air frying seals in the moisture. Look at the juiciness of that chicken. It smells amazing. I can't wait to dig my fork into that. You put that whole chicken in this I air did. fryer. And about how, what size could you fit into this air fryer of a chicken or a turkey? So this is almost a five pound chicken. And let me okay. tell you, there was plenty of room. So you could even Ooh. get a little bit bigger Girl, than I'm that. I'm not even waiting for a fork. You know what? I cut it into <laughs> bite-sized pieces. You dig no, right so in. So good. So it's a massive size. If you've been wanting a bigger air fryer, one that can feed the whole family, this is your time to do it. It's our only presentation of the day. And all you do is pick your color. We have the black, we have the red, and I believe we have this one we're calling teal? Let me just double check. Uh, are we calling this one teal? Oh, okay. I think it's teal. I call it teal. Okay. <laughs> you and I will call it teal. Stephanie calls it teal, I call it teal. It, it doesn't matter, they all work the same. But this is a fun way to try air frying because it's a different way of cooking your food. What is air frying, like for anybody who's brand new? So let's think about the concept of frying. We like these crispy golden brown french fries, but to get them crispy and golden brown, we would typically submerge them in a vat of hot oil. Hence why we know french fries are very bad for us, right? Yeah. The concept of air frying is instead of oil, you are using air to get that same crispy brown crunch. Okay, what a concept. There's a lot less fat and calories in air than oil. So inside my Elite Bistro air fryer, I have a heating element. It's a super heated element, to be quite honest. It's very hot, and the air circulates around the food. So when I take a look at a crispy golden brown french fry like this, mm. I've got that same brown edge, that same crispy crunch that I crave, and that occasionally Yum. at the first of every year we try to give up, but now we don't have to give them up because you're giving up the oil when you air fry. You're giving up the extra fat, the extra calories, and instead Instead of eating something soaked in grease, you're just eating a potato or you're just eating a piece of chicken. And guess what? That's okay. It's the oil that's the problem mm -hmm. and it's the oil mm. we've cut out. In Did my, you put any oil in that chicken or that? Not one drop. Not a single not drop. Not a single drop of How oil. About in that? fact, hey. everything, not a single drop. No. <laughs> you know what? You're gonna absolutely love this. I mean, you're, the best part is you don't give up the foods that you love. You don't get up the flavors that you grew up with. You just find a healthier way. There is a better way. And today's the day to lock this in. If you are a big fan of air fryers and you have an Elite Bistro, give us a call. Because I really want to hear from you. I know a lot of you are dedicated fans. There's tons of face group groups and there's fun YouTube videos and there's recipes. But you don't really need to be a kitchen expert to try air frying, right? Oh my gosh, you certainly do not. For there, one thing, what do you need to know how to do? Anything from the freezer, you can take out and put directly into an air fryer. So this is a two pound bag of tater tots. I have four teenage boys, not even sure they could get through this. So 
that's again where I love the capacity here of the Elite Bistro. Anything from frozen, you dump directly into the air fryer. You do not have to add one drop of oil. You can just go from the freezer and go. But same thing from fresh fruits. You still don't have to add a drop of oil. Now, in terms of how to run this, Elite mm -hmm. could not have made it easier. For starters, there is a great little cheat sheet right on the top of the air fryer that kind of gives a baseline of, well, here's a temperature and here's a time that might work for some of these foods. But Elite has gone one step further, and this is what I love to show you. When I push the M, which is the mode button on this gorgeous LED screen, it takes me from chicken to meat, back to frozen, to all these different things, fries, bacon, baked goods, those are preset programs. So nice. when you ask what I need to know, I need to know nothing. All you need to understand <laughs> is the picture of what That's you're right. cooking and All how it corresponds to, <laughs> to your food. And then you hit go and you are done. All right, all you need to know is, am I gonna eat french fries exactly. or am I gonna eat hash browns for dinner? Because really, I mean, these, these are some of the toughest choices you're going to make before the end of the day. I love that this is, I think, with the largest capacity, right? That Absolutely. we've offered in an air fryer. If you've been waiting for the Mac Daddy, you want, you want the big one, you don't wanna have any regrets. I think that was the only regret I had when I purchased, I think it was a pressure cooker. I was like, why didn't I just buy the bigger one? That way I'm making as much food as I want. You can always have leftovers and you never know who's gonna show up for dinner. And you don't have to fill right? it up either. I mean, here's the thing. Yes, this is the family size. If you wanna air fry for your family of four, maybe mm -hmm. even a family of six, appetizers for 12, this is the air fryer for you. But here's the deal. If on a daily basis, maybe there's only one or two of you, guess what? So don't put it all in there. It doesn't matter if okay. it's not full or full. It still cooks exactly Fan. the same. Fantastic. So I've put my, my what is this, by mozzarella the way? What sticks is in. We'll go ahead and set that so you can watch it go. But this is mac and cheese. Okay, listen to the crunch. Wait, did you, Do, did you like add... Did you put that whole pan in the air fryer? Absolutely. Okay. So what does that tell me? That any pan you have at home that's oven safe is air fryer safe. So my favorite way to make mac and cheese is I made it the traditional way. I boiled it on the stove. I added the cheese. I have even been known to cheat and use the kind that's mostly ready made. But then I put on my own breadcrumbs and I pop that into the air fryer and I get the most amazing, crispy, crunchy top on my mac and cheese. But I've still got the ooey gooey in the middle. Again, that circulating hot air crisps the top okay. of the mac and cheese. You've got to go in there, girl. <laughs> but you know what it also does? It is the most even way of cooking that okay. I have ever found. It's like a mini convection oven. Blow on that. I know it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. So gonna... that you get the inside cooked perfectly evenly, but you get the crispy on the mm -hmm. outside. And if there's one reason why air frying has blown me away as a home cook, it's what it can do with cheese. Because if there's ever a time you want your things to be perfectly melted and even and ooey gooey, it is cheese. So to that mm. regard, we have put cheese sticks in the Elite Air Fryer. We are going to go ahead and turn it on so that we can get a good crisp on the outside of our cheese sticks. Again, the way I do that is changing the mode I'm going to go ahead and pull the fact that I've got the cheese sticks in there to frozen. I am then that going to- That mac and cheese is just to die for. Absolutely, I'm <laughs> okay. glad you like it. Died I'm gonna and went set to mac my and temperature. Cheese, See how my LED is controlling okay. this? Set my temperature, set my time. Cheese sticks only need about five minutes, so I'm gonna turn it all the way down, and then I'm gonna hit go. The other thing I like, first mm. of all, the fact that the LED screen shows me degree by degree what I am doing and minute by minute my temperature makes it no guesswork. I don't have to worry about what's mm -hmm. happening in there. I am seeing it right inside. I love that. So it's kind of goof proof. It is absolutely goof proof. Because so, believe me, I'm intimidated by some of these new electronics and fun new appliances. If you've always wanted to try air frying, don't let this intimidate you. It's super easy. It does come with 27 recipes to get you started. It has simple pictures and words on the very top of the machine, so you really can't mess it up. And then the LED screen simply walks you through whatever your ingredient is and perhaps any timing suggestions. So all those modes are all there for you, six preset modes. All you do is pick your color. We have the black, we have the red, and I just want to double check. Are we calling this one teal? Okay, yeah, yep. this is officially teal, and it's our only presentation to Today, you can lock this in. We'll help you out with the monthly payments too, because I know maybe if you've been looking for an air fryer 
and you're on a budget, you can get it home. I think it's what, less than $20 a month? Yeah. Well, just a little for, over uh, 20, about $25 a month, free shipping and handling. And if you do want to lock this in today, let me recommend HSN Protection Plus. That's by our friends over at Square Trade. So if you want hassle-free protection on any of your electronics or appliances, we can also uh, give you extra peace of mind there. But this is going to maybe open up your mind to a whole new way of cooking and Absolutely. maybe cooking things in a whole different way. Because it's quicker, because you have circulating hot air. It is more even because you have circulating hot air and it seriously will replace your oven. So then you start to get creative. Elite's giving you a great recipe book for ideas. The online community has given me things like avocado eggs. I'm trying hard to keep my healthy fats in my diet for the new oh. year and my carbs down. How did you make those? You literally have an avocado, crack an egg in it and air fry it to the done this you like your egg for about five minutes now where did we get that idea mm, social media good. if you throw in air fryer recipes the community is amazing in fact it's almost cult like which i love <laughs> because what you realize is they're once, a little obsessed with air fryer and that's okay because you may buy it for chicken wings you may buy it for french fries you may i do it for oh, skirt steaks mm -hmm. and things like that but once you bring it into your house and realize that absolutely anything can be cooked in it so we just did kind of like a bourbon chicken wing, a, a sweeter wing. Look at the caramelization. Ooh. Look at that gorgeous Never thought about it. Color. Yeah, wings. I mean, how often do you like really crave wings? You know, you're watching football on a Sunday afternoon, or if you've ever ordered wings at a restaurant, how many calories, how much oil do you think they're putting in some of those wings that you order at so a restaurant? So guess how much oil I put in here? Not um, one drop. Not a drop. And I don't need it. You could not have a better caramelization. You could not have a more golden brown color. And I did it without a drop of oil. Because again, you don't need oil to get crispy, crunchy. You need air. But you need air that circulates. Mm -hmm. And that's where air frying yeah. has become so I, exciting. I'm wondering if we have like, do we have an animation to show what air frying does or how it works? Uh, they're looking for it, yeah. Because I, it's, it's kind of a, a weird concept to wrap your brain around. Around, this is actually going to maybe replace your oven instead of heating up your entire kitchen and cranking up your oven preheating it for you know 20 minutes just to make one pan of french fries or one pan of fish sticks or chicken fingers you're just going to pop a few items in here and, and it's going to do it for you. And it just does a few minutes, right? Absolutely. Well, think about what happens if you were to put chicken strips or fried chicken and french fries in the oven. They sit flat on a pan. The difference is, the there. first of all, there's no circulating hot air unless you have a convection oven. But even if you do, you don't have the ability for the air to reach all angles of the food. This mesh basket is what makes air frying different. You can see because of the mesh, the hot air gets all around the food. It's kind of kissing every edge of the food. What I like about that, that's why it's crispy mm. on all edges. What I like about this, it is uh. non-stick. It is easy to clean. It goes right into the dishwasher. And it's not sitting in its own grease. Absolutely. It's not, it's not just like cooking that's the difference. and sitting and soaking up all the oils and extra grease.